In this short video, I will show you how you can group test cases into test sets and execute test runs. Test sets act as logical containers for your test cases, and you can execute test cases one by one or entire test sets. So if I go into my test cases tracker first, I see which of my test cases have been accepted and which of them I can execute. Test cases need to be accepted. I see that with the green icon here for them to be able to be executed. Now let's create a new test set. Let's call it test set for tablet testing, add a description. And then here on the right hand side from my test case library, I can drag and drop test cases into this test set that I want executed. Okay, now I can save it. I can see all of my test sets in the test set library as well. So now I can save it. And now I can execute a new test run. If I click on new test run, I can choose what type of test run I want to create. I can choose a test configuration if I want. And then I can save and run this. I can also assign this to roles and users if I need to. So now I'll click on save and run. And now I can go through all my tests steps that I've assigned to the test cases and I can pass or fail them. Let's say I pass this one. And now I can execute the next one. I can report a bug if I say if I fail this test optionally and now I can go through all my test steps. And now as you can see the run of this test run has been completed. I see the status. I see the result. It's been failed because I see the test cases, two of the three have failed. Okay, if I go into my test runs, this new latest test run will also be saved. And here, I can also choose to run this in Excel. If I click on this, then this will execute all the test steps into Microsoft Excel. And I can actually uh, test all of my test cases offline if I'd like. So I'm going to open up this test case. And here, as soon as it opens up, I can see the name, the description, and I can see all the test steps. And here I can type in the actual result, comments if I need, passed, failed, or blocked. I can add a comment, and then I can save this. And then I can go back into CodeBeamer, click on import, and I can import this result back into CodeBeamer. And then I will have my offline results as well. Everything in one place. Thanks for watching.